Next, I want to see revenue monthly variance. And the best chart I can use to display variance is the waterfall chart. So I'm going to bring in the waterfall chart. And on my waterfall chart, of course, because I want monthly variance, I need to bring in month. So I'll select month and then I'll select revenue monthly percentage variance, which is this revenue monthly percentage variance. And just as we had in that previous chart, I'm only seeing a single month for April instead of seeing January to December. So what I need to do is yet again, select the month slicer, then click on format, activate edit interactions, and then I'll come over on these charts and look to block A. So if I can see exactly which one is the chart, I'll just track the charts a little bit downwards or just take it somewhere else. Then select the month slicer again, come over here. I can see it clearly now. Then I'll just block. So once I block this, I can now see the monthly variance. Then as quickly as possible, I'll just go and deactivate this, edit interactions. Then I can look at my monthly variance. So how this chart really works is if there's a negative variance, you are going to see it show in red. If there's a positive variance, it's going to be in green. And then the length of the bar actually signifies the size of the variance. So where you have a smaller green bar, for example, so what that means is there is a slight increase in revenue between February and January, and there is a higher increase in revenue between March and February. So the color of the bar and the size of the bar basically determines whether there is an increase or there is a decrease. So red bar means decrease and the length of the bar signifies the magnitude of the decrease. Green bar means increase and the length of the bar signifies the magnitude of that increase. So also I'll go format this chart a little bit. So come to format and I'll scroll down to title. And I'll just call this revenue monthly variance. So revenue monthly monthly variance. And I will make it a darker color. So dark font color. So this is fine. Then I have two charts. Revenue versus same period last year and revenue monthly variance.